Start School gives us the opportunity to meet the diverse needs of our very diverse population. Um, the flexibilities that are afforded to us are going to allow us to continue to think outside the box and find the most effective ways to reach all of our learners. At Robbins Elementary, we are so excited that we can offer this opportunity for our students to become bilingual and biliterate, therefore creating global citizens who are cult culturally aware and that these opportunities can carry them um, so far in life and give them opportunities that your average student does not have. How many fourths do you think I will have when I'm showing two holes? Keep that in mind, I'm going to show two holes now. How many fourths? I have four over here. How many, let me help you out, how many more holes, how many more fractions will I have in this one? How many more? Put them together, how many fourths will be in two holes? Show me with your fingers, how many? Good, let me put it. Uno, dos, ¿verdad? Entonces, acordémonos de la línea numérica, ¿cierto? Tenemos cero, uno y dos. Uno y dos, ¿cierto? Dos enteros. ¿Y están partidas en qué? En... Las tuyas están en 8, ¿cierto? Entonces tú tienes 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Entonces tú tienes 0 cuartos, ¿cierto? 1 cuarto, 2 cuartos, 3 cuartos, 4 cuartos, 6. and there's one piece here. We know that we can split it in more than one or two pieces. And so we're going to take fourths and add them to the number line. Okay. Okay. Hagamos algo aquí. Entonces yo tengo uno, dos, tres. Y la tengo partida en qué? En tercios. ¿De qué otra forma puedo partir en estos enteros? ¿En ¿De qué? En medio. ¡Boom! En medio. Excelente. We have found here at Robbins Elementary that the dual language um, has become very important for our students. In the um, early elementary grades, we find that they perform better in one language as opposed to the other. But as they get into the higher elementary grades, fourth and fifth grade, we are seeing where their abilities in both language are equal. I think this program enables the students to make connections between one language and the other, and they could bridge Okay, if I don't get it in the Spanish language and my English is a little bit stronger, well, I'll make that connection in the, in the, the next day. So I feel that this enhances um, the, their education process and makes them be successful um, in their grade. As a restart team, we decided um, that our focus was going to be literacy. And our goal this year um, is to create a culture of readers. We feel that reading is so important for all of our students and can take you to so many places. This piece of paper with the writing on it is going to be words, yes? A list, I love it, yes. How to make pie. How to make pie, go ahead, Bridget. Oh, how do you spell resta? What's the last sound? P. Resta P. I need something to make it look right. Recipe. Which one? The top one. That's the one we've seen in a book, right? Recipe. There you go. It's a recipe. Directions on how to make what? A pot. Okay, back to the story. We're in too much time. Dad? As you saw through, I would stop sometimes and talk about a word. Um, and what it means. It teaches, it helps me teach how to use context clues, the words before and after, or thinking about what's happening in the story. And, um, it, and they need to hear the words, they need to hear them spoken clearly. And the structure, especially second language learners, the structure of the language, the best way to teach that is through read alouds. And he mounted his motorcycle while taking a deep breath. <laughs> Ralph shot down the hall into the lobby. The first pill raised. 
Moving forward as a restart school, our hope is to continue to provide our staff with professional development in literacy, to um, build capacity in all of our teachers to make sure that our students are receiving the best literacy instruction that they can. Here we go, friends. I'm gonna give you a word. You're gonna repeat that word after me, and then we're gonna chop out the syllables in that word. Are you ready? Okay, your first word is favorite. I am most proud of the teachers at Robbins Elementary um, for all of their hard work. They do such a good job of creating relationships with our students and meeting them where they are. We have so many diverse learners here and our teachers know their learners so well and how to meet their individual needs and they work so hard at that every day. The students at Robbins are wonderful. They are such a loving and caring community of students. They care about each other, they care about the teachers, um, they care about their community as a whole. They work so hard every day to achieve their goals. What's the other one? Yes. What's the other sound? 